Yeah, you can't even do that. He took all my lip gloss. You got the intro. I know. I'm waiting on you to finish showing off. You know, your team. I'm sorry. I'm waiting on you to finish doing what you do when it comes to your pacers. And uh, then we can get started. I'm I'm just supporting the home team. Mm. Yeah. You know, when you're born somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. You ready? I'm good. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. I'm ready. You good? Yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, how we doing? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Pillow Talk with T and Tay. This is T and I'm Tay. I was I thought he was gonna say hey or something, he didn't, so I think he does the intro better than me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let him keep doing it. But no. Welcome back. I think you're a little rusty. I think so. He's done it for so long, so I can't just like be so comfortable like he was with it. Like I lost my jail with it, but it's alright, it's alright. But thank you guys so much for joining us today on another episode of Philosophical T and Tay. Um, thanks for watching our previous episodes. Thank you for joining today. We really appreciate the support and um, all the comments. Definitely all the comments and just you know reaching out and sharing your thoughts on different things. Um, <clears throat> there haven't been really any questions for us to do a uh, viewers comments type of segment so we'll kind of hold off on that until we get some um but we'll go from there next week somebody's got a birthday <laughs> exciting somebody's yeah. got a birthday coming yeah. up so we look forward to celebrating him on next week um definitely will probably maybe tell y'all how it goes we'll see we'll see i, I might share what we do maybe you know, we kind of private people on certain things. We may not. We'll let y'all know, though. But I'm excited to, to celebrate yet another birthday with him and to see him become another year older. He'll share with y'all if he wants to how old he'll be. That's up to him. Um, But he don't have to if he don't want to. It's up to him. <clears throat> but again, yeah. see, I told y'all. <laughs> um, but again, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And just thanks so much for just being a part of channel with us and just um you know allowing us to keep sharing our thoughts and opinion with you about different things that we face and we're hoping that we're helping whomever out here who may be dealing with some of the same things that we have dealt with and are dealing with and you know could use our thoughts behind it um today's topic will be sorry i'm talking with my hands don't know why i do it sometimes i'm sorry um today's topic will be <laughs> Don't make those faces, love. Stop. Okay, I'm ready. Today's topic will be true friendships and reciprocal relationships. So what's how we view a true friendship and uh, or and or a reciprocal relationship. Um, I think I'm gonna let him go, but I think I went first last week <clears throat> and um, the importance of it. So we're talking about the importance of true friendship and a reciprocal relationship with friends, family, whomever. So, I think I'll let you start if you want to. If not, well, I'll well, be. Well, I'm going to dive in. I'm not sure that I've had that per se of a uh, problem or uh, occasion where I hadn't had reciprocal relations because if I didn't have reciprocal relations, if it wasn't a 50-50, like, hey, most likely we weren't going to be friends long. I mean, because I'm looking at the fact that if I'm asked to come over um, at, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon or 8 o'clock at night, leave my family or leave whatever I'm doing and, and get with you and help you out, the same should be done to me when I call on you. Mm -hmm. But if it's not done, hey, after so many times, maybe three times, hey, I'm, I'm going to we're going to keep this at an arm's length distance relationship mm -hmm. and uh and that's just how I, I roll as they say i don't keep trying to be in a friendship or a relationship that doesn't want my 
attention <laughs> or does not want me to be a part of them. Mm -hmm. And so I do not chase behind someone or, or, you know, I just don't do that. There's too many people around here in this world, too millions and millions that want to be uh, involved with me or have a, a relation of, of friendships with me. And I just don't have that time or energy to waste, waste like that. Yeah. And uh, no, you know, nothing against anybody, but that's just how I am. I, I never have been in relationships where it wasn't given back. Even when we were playing, when I used to be playing basketball around in different parts and everything, it was always a matter of different ones might drive. We all pitched in driving and route rode together or we met and then we met, we had our uh, coolers at the place and everything we just really had a good time and it was never any problems of who was going to do what and who's you know where uh, we got along real good and i mean you know over the years you just realize what you can and can't do and so yeah. it just uh, as others get different relationships families get older and uh things change mm -hmm. but um i really didn't have that i was gonna say have um, you always been that way to where you have yes Anybody oh. knows, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, and they've talked about it even from my school years of how I've always been that way. I've never been just worried about if someone really uh, was going to be into me or what have you, because I, I had a lot of acceptance of a lot of people uh, all over, different gender, everything. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have a problem with getting along and others getting along with me as well. I mean, if it was there, it was there. If it wasn't, it wasn't. Makes sense. Um, I asked, have you always been that way? Because I know for me, um, I haven't always been that way. I've always been that one that, you know, um, was trying to it's make a, the relationship yeah, work because I was a people, I'm a people pleaser. Like I, that, that will never change in me. I'm always trying to make sure everybody else is happy. And, you know, and I take, I was taking a lot of different things from a lot of different people and it was only tearing me down over time. Like, I, my love tank was getting so empty because I was filling up everybody else's mm -hmm. and it wasn't being reciprocated yeah. back to me. Um, that's why I asked, asked, well, asked you, babe, yeah. if, that's, if you've always been that way. For yeah. me, I had to grow yeah. to get there. Yeah, and, and that's, that's what I'm going to say. Not everybody's there automatically, so you have to grow and it takes time. Uh, but you have to, you know, just like in relationships, you have to look in the mirror and be like, mm -hmm. hey, this is not going both, this is not 50-50. Yeah. And when it's not 50-50, then you got to realize, hey, you know, I'm getting wore out on my end and that person's just living their best life. Right. Like, I've had friendships where, I mean, I guess as I sit back and think about it, it's like, were they really friendships? But it was like uh, friendships where I was the one that was always, they would always come to and they would talk to me. And they will unload all of their garbage, all of their baggage, everything that was going on with them. But then when it was time for me to talk about what I was going through or what I maybe wanted to talk about or what's going on with me, they never were available to hear me out, listen to me or anything like that. So it was like I was their dumping ground and I had no one I could share my stuff with. So it was never that give and take type of relationship. Um, I, I, I did that even in dating a lot. I did that. It was just... It was me still trying to figure out me. I'll be honest on what it was. It was still me trying to figure out who I was. And again, people will treat you how you allow them to treat you. I said this in the last episode. They will treat you how you allow them to treat you. And I was allowing people to just do that. Um, I would be that friend, like he talked about, you know, if I'm going to your house or whatever, and you need to become, it needs to be the same thing in return. If I need you to come to mind, you would do the same. But I was always that one that was always going to everyone. Always going. I was going. You called me. I was always there. Tay was there. Tay was coming. Tay was going to be there because you called on me and I'm coming. And I had to get to a point where I realized, like, hey, it's not, that's, this, this is not an equal thing going on. We are on an even playing field. Um, it's more so of me giving, 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 and them taking, taking, taking versus it being an even, give, and take. Uh, so I had to get to a point where I was like, I value my friends, but I also value me more. So I need to make sure that if I'm in a friendship with someone or I, or a relationship with someone, that it's going to be a reciprocal relationship. It's going to be a lot of give and take. We're going to be bouncing off each other. We're going to be iron sharpening iron versus iron sharpening everybody else. It's going to be an equal. 
we going to build each other up, not you dump on me and let me be weighed down with all your stuff, and I build you up to where you need to be. Yeah. <clears throat> no. I think the hardest uh, relationships, uh, I don't know which way you're going to go with that, but I think the hardest relationships is when you're getting older mm -hmm. and the person or, or yourself, maybe you're changing. Mm -hmm. And then if you're in different seasons yeah. and that person's in this season, you're in this season. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're finding that you're realizing that you don't have compatibility no more. Mm -hmm. And it's not reciprocal anymore because everybody's in different seasons. And that's what that's happens true. is people grow and, change so i think that making that adjustment is is always the most challenging so uh, i've had been in that several times because mm -hmm. yeah. i've even been told I, I say this sometimes a lot you know people are in your life for a reason and a season you know when that reason or season is up we have to be at that point where we're okay with letting them go uh, I think, what was it, Tabitha Brown talked about friends and people being like uh, hair you uh, shed. Yeah, it um, <laughs> it's like hair you shed. You know, once you, once, that, once you shed that hair, you can't put them back in, mm -hmm. into your head, yeah. she says. So it's like, it's the same thing when it comes to friendships and relationships that, you know, you've outgrown or that you are have changed and you've moved on to a different level and they're not at that level with you, realizing it's okay that they can't go with you because... Just like that hair that shed from your head that you can't put back in, those same friends, sometimes they can't come back into that circle you're in because they're you're at different levels. You transition and you're on this and they're on that, where you may be here and they're down here or vice versa. They're up here and you're still here, you know, so you have to make sure that you guys can meet here. And if you're unable to meet here and you see that disconnect, you see that like, misfire that's happening then it's like you got to be okay with letting go again it comes into that fear of being alone or not having a friend or having someone to talk to but all friendships ain't good friendships so it's like why hold on to the bad when you know it's not good for you gotta let it go you know you gotta be okay with it yes it's gonna hurt for a little while that's because you feel like you have no one but um, if you really sit back and think about it, once you start clearing your space of those that aren't reciprocal, those relationships that aren't reciprocal, then you start to um, draw in those relationships that are reciprocal and you start building better because people see your confidence. They see that you, you know, how you value yourself and then they, you, you draw and people will treat you like you want to be treated. They treat you in that same realm of, you know, reciprocating what you're giving back in return. So be mindful though. You're gonna get reciprocated. Everything you give out, they're gonna get back in return. So if you're being a bad friend yourself, it's gonna be reciprocated back to you. So just be mindful of that, you know. So, but you know, when you know you are in a friendship with someone, even if you've been friends with this person for 20, 30, 40 years, and like my husband says, if 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 you've grown apart and you guys are no longer, you know, on the same level or doing the same things or even have the same common interests anymore. You got to be at a point in your life where you can be honest with yourself and say, this is no longer adding value to me or this relationship is not healthy for me because I feel like I'm the person that's only getting A, B, C, D. So I've got to make an adjustment. Being honest with yourself, knowing when it's time to make that necessary adjustment um, to move on. So that's how, that's how I see it. Any other thoughts, man? No, not every, yes, yes, I do have another thought. Um, I'm sorry. But not everyone you're going to just cut all the way off yeah. either. You just may not uh, spend as much time with them anymore because you realize that you're in different seasons and uh, you don't necessarily may cut them off, but you just uh, realize that, hey, um, I'm just going to talk to you from time to time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know. There's no, no harm in that because at least you know that, because uh, them, them relationships could be, you know, lifelong relationships, you know, yeah. from childhood. And so you're saying, okay, at least I can check in with them from time to time. And that way it's not uh, anything against myself or and I'm not forcing them to, you know, reach out to me or anything. And they're, we're not having that, um, notice the feelings are not attached in there if you offended me or anything like that. It's just that, hey, you reached out to me and uh, we, we, we good, you know. And, that's how a lot of my relationships have been. If I, you know, haven't, uh, if I have distanced myself or they distance themselves from me, mm -hmm. uh, we just make 
you know, every now and then a wind make, you know, call because they were my childhood people or uh, people from high school or things of, of that nature. But again, I just recommend that you make sure that every relationship is reciprocal and is 50 50. And uh, even when sometimes it's 50 35, people may be going through something. Sure. You know, they may be taking care of a loved one, and we'll, we'll talk about that one of these times as well, or talk, taking care of a, a, a child. You never know. Or be single, uh, single parenting, or what have you. And uh, man, that alone it takes up so much time that they don't have time to have a real, real mm -hmm. friendship anymore. And so you got to be mindful of those things as well. Definitely. Definitely be mindful. Um, but make sure that you both are um, adult enough. Yeah. To have that conversation, that difficult conversation of where you are and how your life is drifted, and then you can still be able to keep that, you know, relationship where you can be able to call that person yeah. from time to time, check in on them, see how they're doing. It may not be to where you spend every waking moment together like you used to, but now it's on that every now and then level. Yeah. Um, but excuse me. <clears throat> but making sure that you know what you're willing to accept. You making sure you know what's reciprocal, what's healthy for you, what's beneficial um, for the both of you. Both everybody's got to be able to be a part of that friendship together and know that it works for the both of you, and not just be a one-sided friendship, not be a one-sided relationship. Because this goes in play even with relationships when you're married or dating or um, even in parenting. All types of family relationships, every type of relationship you got, even with children, yeah. when they become adults. And it's you, you, you want to, the things to be reciprocated. You don't want your kids to just call you only when they need something um, and never call and check in on you. But every time you call in, you're calling to check in on them. So it's just, this is not just in um, just friendship per se, but it's, it's in, you know, parenting. It's in um, sibling, family relationships. It's in dating. It's in marriage. It's all kinds of relationships that we talk about where this reciprocal relationship is important. It's important to have that because it's healthier. Yes. It's healthier. It's all about building healthy relationships and finding a way to um, to find that common ground with the people you're around and making sure that you know you've got a good circle of people. Right. Keep if you a lot of times it's best to keep your circle small um, because that way you know that those people around you are true people to you. They're they're truly there for you and you're there for them type of thing. But that's it. Anything else? No, that, that's our take. <laughs> no, that's our viewpoints on that. Our view, viewpoints on everything. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you know. I don't know. Nothing else? Okay. Yeah, all right, so that's all we have today um, for Pillow Talk with TNSA in regards to true friendships and reciprocal relationships. That's in every walk of life, every area of your life, as far as reciprocal relationships. You want to look for that and continue to build on that. But that's it for today. We thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching Pillow Talk with TNT. We hope you join us next week for another episode. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, y'all. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay Bye. Stay safe. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Thank you. Yeah. It was a little small. Okay, well, you are, you know, not a plane, but, you know, you do have to wait till you settle. How about that? Wait till you settle. Is that better? Wait till you settle. I blamed it. I'm glad. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you have, no. I blamed it. Okay.
Maybe you can run with the wire. <laughs> I, I don't think you landed right yet. Now not. You can see the whole thing. Yeah, but now you're messing up my dirty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. You good? You straight? <laughs> can I come back over? You can, of course come back over. Oh, God. So sensitive. You and your paces. Don't be hurting the paces like you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no, you didn't come over one. You know how they do it. You know how they do it. They did nothing since you made it. No. Okay. I'm hilarious about that, too, man. Oh. There was a time when you was rooting for them, too. No, I've never. Bridges. I was always a Bulls fan. Mm -hmm. Never, ever. You just said it was Michael Jordan. I was there with when Jordan, Pippen, were you the, Rodman. Who were you, five? <clears throat> this person. You was only five? I got you your five. It, yeah. Your hand is not in the right spot. Can no, you move it? No, I like my hand right there. But it's in the way. <laughs> no! <laughs> you just. <laughs> there! Took care of, that took away my buffness. Your what? My buffness. Man. Well, they saw long enough. It took away a gun. It was long enough. Okay.